In my last video I showed a quite complicated way to flash the new Sonoff Mini. In today's quickie I show you a more straightforward method to get the job done. Gritzy YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe you will always sit in the first row. Sonoff made it complicated to flash a new firmware on a Sonoff Mini. In the comments, viewers suggested to solder four wires to the four pads on the PCB. This is possible and it works, but you need some soldering skills. Another viewer discovered a different method on Thingiverse. Print a programming jig and use it to flash the Mini. Does this work? The idea is to use so-called pogo pins to connect the four pads on the PCB of the Mini. Pogo pins are made for PCB testing. They have a spring-loaded tip which connects to pads on the PCB. We need four of them and have to find a way to hold them in place. This is done with these 3D printed parts. After printing them with my Prusa, I soldered a wire to each of the four pogo pins. Because the pins will be inserted into the plastic part, we place the wire around 3 mm from the end. I use black and red for power and green and yellow for RX and TX. Then I insert the pogo pins and stuff the cables in their respective grooves. These grooves are quite narrow. This is why I use 28 AWG silicon wires. As a last step, I crimp DuPont contacts to them. If you want to use prefabricated DuPont cables, you have to widen the slots with a knife. Or you download the Fusion 360 files from this link and adjust Sketch 13 before you print your parts. Next I thread the pogos into the four holes of this small PLA cap and superglue it to its place. In the next step I insert the four wires into a six place empty shell exactly where my FTDI connector expects them and superglue the now filled shell to its place. Now I take the third printed part and again thread the pogos into the holes. This is quite tricky. Depending on your printer you may have to widen the holes with a tool like these PCB drills. The last step is to superglue the two bigger parts together. Now your chick is ready and you can connect your programming adapter to the DuPont connector and insert a Sonoff Mini on the top. Make sure you do it like that. Please check if the position of the pogos are where you expect them before you power the FTDI adapter. Otherwise your Mini might be destroyed. Now you are ready to flash. Please keep the Mini pressed down during the whole flashing process. And because GPIO0 is connected to this button, you have to press it while inserting the PCB. You can leave the button as soon as the Mini is powered. Like that, the ESP8285 on the Sonoff will be in programming mode. I use NodeMCU PiFlasher.exe and Dual Output Mode as suggested for the ESP8285. When flashing is finished, you can remove the Mini and continue with the next one if you need to flash more than one device. Now you have three different ways to flash your Sonoff Minis. Over the air, as shown in the last video, saw the cables directly to the PCB pads, use this programming jig. As always you find all needed links in the description. I hope this quickie was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, Please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.